Right, ready? Samuel Guilford riders hub here again with the, with the weekly catch up. Not last week, but this week with uh, Rob Paternostro, head coach of the Leicester Riders. How are things with you, Rob? It's been a while since we've caught up. Yeah, very good. Yeah, good. Um, you know, certainly uh, had a good weekend that past mm. weekend, two wins. So I'm um, feeling good coming into this week. Like you say, good weekend, 116, 109 win over the over the Giants, and then a contrasting win over the Glasgow Rocks, a heart and mouth game, and then one where you were quite comfortable. Yeah, we'll start with Friday with the Giants. I mean, they thought that, um, you know, they played really well. They shot the ball really well. They had a lot of tough shots. We weren't happy with our defense at halftime. Um, second half, I thought we did a bit better there, but um, um, they kept coming. And uh, I give them credit. They kept coming and making plays. Hit a big three, but, um, you know, I was proud of the guys because um, you know, we had to go to overtime and we had to make the plays in overtime, and we did. And um, you know, we got enough stops at the end. Mm -hmm to give us the W. So, uh, you know, anytime you, you win an overtime game, it's a good feeling. And uh, then, you know, coming back, we had the long trip up to Glasgow and um, we challenged ourselves a little bit to, to have a really good defensive performance in the first half, and we did. Held them to 28 points. Um, you know, really made it tough for them to get into their actions and um, pretty much held on from there. You know, we had it up to 35 or so. So, yeah, it was a great weekend for us. Uh, you know, league play um, on both ends of the floor has been uh, pretty consistent so far. So, yeah, we, um, you know, we know that uh, there's a lot of work to do, but certainly happy in the position that we're at. Of course, it's a whole team effort, but Gino once again stood out with two brilliant performances. He's got to be in the consideration for MVP, even at this early stage of the season. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, Gino is uh, an exciting player. Mm. Uh, you know, he's uh, fun to watch every day in practice, too. Yeah. <laughs> I think that um, you know, some of his best stuff has been done in practice, but he's been, um, he's been awesome. And, and, you know, I think I said it last week, um, he is improving, too. Mm. And I think that's what we love to see. I think, um, you know, his ability to make players better, too. Uh, you know, his ability to find players with the assists. And, and we know he can score. We know he's athletic. But um, the intelligence that he has is certainly uh, puts him up there as a, as a top, top player in his league. It, it reflects in the form as well. We're 10 and 1 in the league, top of the league now as well, after London Lions defeat over the weekend. Albeit at an early point of the season, that must sound good to be good to be top of the league. Oh, yeah. 10 and 1 is uh, Brilliant. a nice yeah. feeling, no question, in this league. I think that um, maybe, you know, in the past few years we have done that before, but it's still make it's still special to be there. We know we got a long way to go. Mm. We're very happy with um, where we are in the league at the moment, and I think that. Um, the positive uh, sign for me is that I feel like we can keep improving too, and I think that's going to be necessary to stay up there. Of course, heading into this weekend, you've got a BBL trophy game on the Thursday before Sheffield Sharks once again. Just talk to us about those games. Yeah, we played London in the trophy. I mean, the draw, you know. Was it right wasn't away. kind, no. Yeah, I mean, right away <laughs> we got them. Uh, we've seen them many times um, already this season. I think this will be number five. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we know the kind of talent that they have. Um, you know, they took a loss this weekend. Uh, they're just coming off the, the coronavirus, which you know can be challenging for their rhythm. But uh, it's going to be a tough game. I think that um, you know when you go down there, you know they shoot the ball really well at times. Uh, you know when you look at the stats, they're up there in three-point percentages. They're up there in three points made. So you got to limit their easy opportunities because they make you pay down there. So it should be an exciting game and a knockout uh, competition. So like you say, in terms of the likes of Liggins and, and that uh, having to self-isolate, they'll be they'll be really hungry to get to get to get back back on form after that defeat over the weekend. Oh yeah, um, yeah, we expect that. I think that um, you know, anytime we play them, we expect that. And I think that uh, you know, when you look at their team, uh, they have quality up and down the yeah. roster. You never know who's going to be on the bench or who's going to be playing True, that day because yeah. they have so many players. But um, you certainly know that they have the quality, and you got to play a good game to beat them. Finally, like I say, Sheffield Sharks once again uh, in the championship on Sunday. They played them quite a lot this season, won quite a lot as well. Well, yeah, I think that, um, you know, we played them, uh, maybe this will be fifth time. Yeah. I'm not sure, but we did play them in the preseason too. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, until both teams know each other. Um, going up there, uh, we were there, feels like ages ago, we mm. went up there to play them. But, um, but yeah, they're playing good basketball. They won two last weekend. We had a great game in here against them. We yeah, came yeah. down to, to the end of the game, obviously. And, um, yeah, I think our guys are well aware of their challenges. I think Hemsley uh, is playing really well for them. Uh, you know, Lillard and those guys, they're, they're aggressive, tough players. So um, another tough game at the BBL. Of course, a double shot this weekend, but a few days apart. Does it give you time to potentially focus on the Lions game first before you then come back into training and then focus on the Sharks game? Yeah, I think now, you know, as the season goes on, it's going to be similar here. We're mm. going to not have that many days to prepare. I think mm. it's about, um, you know, 
making sure your body's uh, prepared. And I think, um, you know, Jory Godfrey and the rest of the strength and conditioning staff's done a good job with our guys. Uh, and they've been committed in there, too. And that's what I like about this team this year is they're not only committed on the floor, committed off the floor to strength and conditioning. And that's going to be huge going into the, you know, the second half of the season. You're going to have to have your bodies ready to go because it's such a quick turnaround. Definitely. Cheers, Rob. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks a lot.